I want to create a diagram that clearly communicates where our sales performance is excellent and where we have the opportunity to do more. With Microsoft Office Visio Professional 2007, I can add data graphics to this diagram. Data graphics, such as these flags and progress meters, make it easy to see where we're underperforming or where we're exceeding our goals. Here's how I added data graphics to my diagram. First, I select the shape that I want to add the data graphic to. Then, I click the Data menu and click Display Data on Shapes. In the Data Graphics pane, I select the data graphic I want to use. I'll use this one with the progress meter. And Visio applies it to the selected shape. I could have achieved this same result by creating my own data graphic instead of using one supplied by Visio. Here's how. I begin by clicking the New Data Graphic link. The first thing I want to do is add the text. So in the New Data Graphic dialog box, I click the New Item down arrow, and then I click Text. In the New Text dialog box, I click the Data Field down arrow, and select an item from the list. I'll select Revenue Change, since that's the area I'm interested in. Then, I click the Call Out down arrow, and select a style from the list. Visio stacks the callout neatly with the other callouts in the data graphic. If I wanted, I could adjust the callout alignment in the callout position area, but I'm going to leave it where Visio put it by default. In the details area, I can choose specifically how I want the callout to look. I click OK to return to the new data graphic dialog box. I can see the text item I just created at the top of the list. I want to add a data bar, the speedometer, to my data graphic next. This time, when I click the New Item down arrow, I click Data Bar. In the New Data Bar dialog box, I click the Data Field down arrow and select an item from the list. Since I'm comparing revenue to quota, I'll pick Quota. Then, I click the Call Out down arrow and select the speedometer call out from the list. In the Call Out position area, I use the default position. In the Details area, I can choose how I want the call out to look and select minimum and maximum values if I only want a certain range of values reflected. Again, I click OK to return to the new data graphic dialog box. I'll add icons next. I click the new item down arrow again and click icon set. Visio Professional 2007 includes a number of icon sets like flags or trend arrows that I can use to show comparisons. In the New Icon Set dialog box, I click the Data Field down arrow and select Versus Quota. Then I click the Call Out down arrow and select how I want the data represented, in this case with colored flags. And in the Rules for Showing Each Icon area, I select the values that correspond to the different colored flags. A red flag means that the sales revenue didn't meet our quota. A yellow flag means that the revenue is moderately exceeding our quota and a green flag means that revenue exceeded quota. Finally, for callout position, I'll click far right for horizontal. I click OK to close the new icon set dialog box. Finally, I want shapes that indicate higher amounts of revenue to display in a darker color. So I click the new item down arrow and then click color by value. With this new option in Visio Professional 2007, I can apply color to indicate unique values or ranges of values. In the New Color by Value dialog box, I click the Data Field down arrow and then select an item. In the Coloring Method field, I can apply the same color to all of the shapes that have the same value. Or I can use a range of colors, from bright to muted, to indicate a range of values. In the Color Assignments area, I assign a fill color and text color to each value. I can also type specific values into the value 1 and value 2 boxes to create custom ranges. I click OK twice to close the dialog boxes, and I'm done. It's crystal clear where we're doing well in sales and where we need to take action to improve our figures. By using data graphics, I can quickly spot the strong and weak areas in our sales performance by creating a diagram that really makes my point in just a few simple steps.